of Jod from MrWirk.com and uh, today we'll take a quick look at how to edit wp-config.php file so basically this file is one of the most important files for your WordPress website uh, it contains confidential uh, information um, which is like uh, your database details so sharing this with somebody is never recommended please keep all your details safe for this tutorial uh, I'm just using a test WordPress installation uh, which I'm gonna delete later on so uh, I'm feeling free to share uh, how to edit it and uh, the the information in it uh, is not that important for me because it's gonna be deleted uh, shortly <coughs> sorry so to so there let's talk about the situations uh, when you would uh, want to delete uh, or set, sorry uh, when you have to edit uh, your config file situations like when you're migrating your uh, WordPress website let's say to uh, another web host or a domain or you're changing things or you have um, you have migrated your database or there, there's something went wrong with your database and uh, you want to change your database uh, passwords and things like that so once your WordPress is installed um, you have so the only option to do to do so is like um, WP config file so first of all you'll have to log in into your cPanel account if you're not uh, used to using cPanel I have another video and a tutorial on that I'll leave a link to that in the video description below so feel free to learn how to log into uh, cPanel and how to open a file manager so right now I'm logged in to my cPanel from there I want to go into file manager and I'll open the file manager from file manager I'll go to the root folder where my WordPress website has been installed in my case it's test.mrwork.com in the root folder you'll see your .htaccess file index.php file in the same folder you'll also find your wp config file as well so the next step now is you right click this and edit the file and once we uh, open this file we'll see a certain amount of information in it <coughs> so as you can see that it has like SQL settings secret keys database uh, table prefix uh, and things like that so first of all it contains MySQL settings and you can change this and this is uh, these are the settings that we get uh, when we create the database and assign a user to it I have another video and a tutorial on this how to create a database in WordPress for WordPress I'll leave a link to that as well in the video description below another information in this is unique keys and salts that uh, WordPress uses to make the website uh, even more secure uh, table prefix is basically how your table um, will start so whatever table the WordPress will create it will start with test uh, dash and then uh, the table name and this is more developer based you'll not need that uh, the information we're looking for is between these lines this is where we need to make changes when we want to edit our WP config file so you're looking at the database name you're looking at the database username how it's different is it's basically the username that WordPress uses to access the database uh, and then the database uh, password this you should never share this with anybody and then host name is usually local host when you're hosting it on your uh, web hosting account it basically works so you don't even have to change that <coughs> so these are the three um, lines where you'll have to make a change so let's say I my database name changed to something like changed let's say and let's say the password changed as well and yeah and the username as well and 
I just save this and if I go back to my website it should work so right now I have changed it to wrong details so it will not work so I'll update it to the correct details again and we can go and load the website and it should work for us hopefully I have <laughs> made it correctly so test.mrweek.com and the website should work awesome so once you update the details your website should start working thanks again guys for watching the tutorial and please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it and definitely also visit the links in the description uh, they'll help you uh, as well so please visit my website as well sign off